Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Victor and I help people navigate through their ascension process. And this video is going to be the November 2016 Ascension Energy Update. I really went back and forth quite a, quite a bit with this particular update. You know, I, I know how I would react when I would watch other people's updates in the past and how much they influenced my life. And I wasn't sure, was it because I watched something that it tended, my life would tend to sort of follow what people would say? Or were they actually channeling these predictive type of energies? I still don't know that. But again, I realized the influence that such a type of video has on people. <laughs> And straight up, when I, when I sense intense energy, you could say, I'm very like careful of how I want to put that forth without invoking fear. Because what I would notice with a lot of people is they would like ignore it and sort of deny it and yet insinuate it in a subtle way. And because I was perceptive, like I know all you are, I'd say, oh shit, I, I know what she's really saying. And it would bug me out. So this is going to be... Um, just straight up blunt and honest. That's, that's the conclusion I came to. I'm just going to spit out what I perceive the energies to uh, be like. But because I've been through so many of these different types of cycles, I, they're, within all honesty, there truly is a positive perspective you can have on even seemingly challenging energies, which you can all feel. Uh, this, this is no secret. I could say, oh, it's so light and beautiful and everything's nice. And you'd say, uh... Turn on, you'd turn me off right now. So, while this is not going to be the most uh, airy fairy type of message, this is going to be a very raw and honest perception of the, the what's going on. And what's going on right now is a sort of precipice. It's a sort of culmination and ending, and then also t simultaneously beginning of a new ascension cycle, a new cycle of this whole big wild crazy thing we're all going through. This ascension, this planetary ascension is sort of coming into a new phase and, and we're feeling that switching of the energies. We're feeling the pot boiling and it's a unique experience. It's very, very mixed. It's a big mixed bag of emotions and, and experiences that go along with such an occurrence that we're all, we've all chosen to come and, and, and go through. On one hand, we'll, many of us will achieve highs higher than our, our brains could have ever possibly fathomed. And not to say, you're probably expecting me to say, and also really deep lows. No, not, not so much, but there'll just be a lot of fluctuation all over the place feeling as we sort of, uh, again, enter this new phase. But again, to organize myself, I have broken it down into five different themes. Number one is perfect timing. And this sounds like a neat little thing, perfect timing, but there's a part of us, at least most people, including myself, that wants perfect timing, wants to just ebb and flow through life, relying less on keeping track of everything mentally, which can be draining and confusing. On the other hand, letting go into that flow of perfect timing can be a bit maddening. And I'll give a perfect example. I've been really like wondering this past few days, when am I going to get Whenever I make these sorts of uh, energy updates, I get like uh, tapped into these where I just can I write down real quick what it's going to be about, and then it just happens. It's very organic and easy for me. It just I get like caught into this stream of energy, and I've been waiting for it. Like, what is going on? And meanwhile, I'm sort of feeling all these different um, effects of the energy because I, I feel it just like you guys. And I've been like, man, but I got to get this out there. It's November fourth right now as we speak. I'm like. It's not going to do anybody any good, you know, two weeks from now, oh, I finally got it. Um, so I, I just decided to kind of come out here and do what I was going to do. And as I was walking to my little area here, those floodgates just started to open. I didn't need them. I didn't need that information until now, you know, but my mind would have liked to say, okay, well, I got it for when I'm ready to do it, you know, but that's not what, that's not how perfect timing works. That's not how fourth density reality really works. It's about truly trusting in that total authentic faith that things will happen when they need to and not necessarily before because that slows things down. 
So it's kind of like, you might feel like, like your daddy just took off the training wheels and said, okay, go have fun. You want to be free? You want to have more mobility on that, that bike? Well, you got to get used to it a little bit. So you might find yourself getting used to perfect timing, which is an amazing thing. And the more it proves itself to you, like this just happened to me, um, the more your faith will grow and the more easily you'll be able to go with the new way of navigating your life, which is with perfect timing, which will allow you to manifest things very quickly and easily, which is what we all want. Number two is random bursts of old issues sort of hitting you all at once and then going away again. So again, there's these like waves, these echoes of things that we've all been sort of kind of dealing with. It might be just a big glob of multiple things sort of hitting you at once in, in, the, in the sense of you just perceive a, an energy of old issue surfacing, synchronicities that sort of tell you this is what it is and maybe even a couple little minor experiences. But then it kind of goes away and you feel like, like they're gone. Um, this is just, what, what's nice about this is they're not, not all new. When, whenever we have a new thing come up from the, you know, from the depths of our unconscious to our conscious mind, like, oh, it, it's like our mind has its way with it. It can be very like, daunting and, and we go into denial and fear and it can be quite a task. So these will be things, again, you've already, you're not, it's not going to be new to you. Um, but you might find yourself experiencing that just because we're, we're expanding and as we expand you'll see all these things from different layers and different different angles rather and it's a good thing but you'll be aware of them but I don't believe it'll be as uh, impactful as again when a bunch of new stuff comes up. Number three is the experience, the actual experience of the massive expansion of our consciousness that we're going through. This on one level is the same. We've been expanding, obviously, you know, but because it's like an exponential or a geometric expansion, it's always in a sense kind of new. Like every time we expand is the best way to put it. We are able to, it's almost like seeing everything, including ourselves for the very first time through new eyes. And the initial experience of this shift is sometimes confusing and disorienting and it can feel like life is going really fast, like you just can't keep up with the, like everything because part of you, there's parts of you that wants to think about everything all at once. And it, it, God, because everything's so new. But again, this causes confusion and it can be kind of like intense, but it's a good thing. It's indicative of a massive consciousness expansion, which is a whole fundamental um, essence of what enlightenment, the enlightenment process is and entails. Um, but my advice is just to understand that every, we go through these expansions and then we sort of have a plateau. And once we have the plateau, then it all comes together. As confusing as things might be, as racy as life might seem to be, it will come back down to a rate that you feel comfortable with. And all, then you'll be able to actually, once you've assimilated all these new insights, you'll be able to go forth in your life as a more holistic and integrated and smarter, wiser, more grounded person. And so it's, a, it's, a, it's an amazing benefit. It's, it's, an, it's an awesome thing. But again, the initial experience of it is challenging. It can be anyway. And we're kind of going through that. We're, we're again, we're at this like culmination of this big phase of this, the ascension we've all been going through. And it's a little bit, it's a little bit rocky and intense. But again, it's, it's a good thing. Number four is, as I sort of mentioned here and there throughout this video, is the blend of completions and new beginnings. Because this, the collective, including you and me, we're all part of this big collective, this collective consciousness, it's sort of nearing an end and also going into a new phase, as I, as I keep saying. You will experience that as an individual, as a microcosm of this, this, this big thing in your own life. You might find yourself on one, on, on one level, things are wrapping up and ending and coming to a close. And then also new things are either very soon to be on the horizon or at least in your mind or apps actually happening. A lot of you guys will experience actual physicalized representations of the uh, 
entering this new phase while at the same time physical representations of leaving an old phase behind. I know it's kind of vague in general, but that's the best way to put it. It's going to be very individual, but it's going to be important to you. Um, important to, it'll be a, like, uh, life altering for you. Where I, some people, it might be getting a new job. Me, I'm, I'm moving out of my house. I, I'm selling my home, moving to another state. It, it's, it's, it's kind of on that level. With a relationship, just a direction in life. You're switching paths. It's just a, you're, you're, we're changing, we're shifting, we're entering a new phase. And again, you're going to likely uh, notice that on some level in your life. Number five, I think a lot of you guys now, even though a lot of, we've all to an, to an extent have been before, but now I think we'll all start to notice more literally, more physically, more in your face, a planetary mass awakening that's going on. That's no longer being noticed only by the extremely sensitive souls such as yourself. But now there will be evidence of it happening in the real world. And you guys tend to deal and just kind of naturally, you are sort of programmed and wired to, even though it might not seem that way, but you are naturally able to adapt and shift and align with these energies. That's exactly what you came to do. Other people aren't, aren't uh, there yet, unfortunately. A lot of people. They're not, they're not doing the aligning. They're not doing the purging, the clearing, and uh, the stepping into, the, into their true self the way you are. And as a result, the ascension process, the planetary awakening is affecting other people dramatically differently than you guys. In a more as, as, as crazy as it might feel for you, imagine if you were to always just hold on to all your issues and revert more and more deeply into your egoic structure as these ascension energies are becoming so incredibly um, not a match for that mentality and that way of going through life. And yet that's what a mass amount, a big amount of the population of people, that's their coping me mechanism for these energies. And it feels like it's getting close to like a, a boiling point. And because of that, you guys can probably feel it. You can probably feel the collective unrest in your body. And it's a little bit unnerving and disorienting, but it's, it's not all you. It's just the, the energetic repercussions of what's going on. And because you're so darn sensitive, you can like feel it. But that's sort of why you're you and why you're here because you'll be okay with that. Lastly, and this, in my opinion, is the whole tone and essence of this month for you guys. Moving on from, from number five. It's going to be a month where you are able to prove to yourself, actually demonstrate in your practical life just the amount of, of inner work that you have done. Now, for a long time, we do a lot of work and then we like get to enjoy it for a brief little fleeting second and then it goes away and we're like back in, back in this another wacky wave of ascension energy and we're like, we, we feel like we lost ourselves again. And that's all going to be going on, don't get me wrong. But you're going to find yourself, even in spite of this crazy November energy, in spite of perceiving and feeling the collective unrest, you will still find yourself with seemingly more willpower. Just like, oh, like you can still implement your game plan, so to speak, and do what you kind of want to do, less influenced by all the fluctuating energies that, again, are still present. They're just not impacting you quite as much. Or if you want to look at it another way, you're just so freaking strong and impervious to them. You're just, again, you're going to do your thing regardless of what's going on. And that is the epitome of what it means to be a master. Masters don't just sit there and have effortless things. They don't just wave their wands. No, the masters are people who have come from nothing and overcome all these different layers of earthly challenges. And in spite of this unconducive energy and dimension as a whole, still shine, still exemplify 
their soul's traits, which is just its love and compassion and courage and strength and integrity and brilliant and awesome uniqueness. Everybody. And you will start to shine brighter than ever this month, even though it seems darker than ever out there. That's it, guys. Thank you for watching. And I'm just so excited to have a really cool community like you guys to be experiencing this once in a soul's lifetime type of experience and transition that we're all going through. I can only encapsulate these energies to such an extent because it's not something that can really be summed up very, very well. I do my best, but I realize the limitations of verbalizing this thing that only can be experienced. So it's one hell of a ride. I think we can all agree. <laughs> so anyway, guys, have a badass month. Do your thing. You got nothing to worry about. You have everything you need to do what you need to do. And I trust for most of you guys, if not all, it'll be a, a very positive and transformative month. Okay? Thank you very much. Have a good day. Speak to you next time. Peace.